The following program comes to you live from the Apostolic Church Ghana Community 5 Assembly. For more of this and other useful resources, log on to TACC5.org or like our Facebook and YouTube pages at TACC5 Media. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for another Friday. We all know that Fridays are times where we come before God in prayer. And especially in these times where we don't have the opportunity to meet as a church. We are meeting as families in our homes to come before God in prayer. And I want you to know that in your home, God will hear your prayer. For we serve an omnipresent God who says wherever we call upon him, he will hear our prayers. So don't let this affect your faith. There is no difference in hearing distance when it comes to God. The way he will listen to you in church, he will listen to you the same way in your home, in your workplace, in the vehicle, wherever you find yourself. Since it's a time for prayer, I just want to share some few words with you as the basis for our prayer today. And I'm picking this from Luke chapter 11. In this time, we have to pray for this generation we look at what is happening with this coronavirus issue. It is affecting almost every part of the world. We need to ask God for mercy. We need to pray for Christians everywhere. We need to pray for sick people. We need to pray for people who are suffering. We need to pray for our nation, Ghana, that God will have mercy on us too, and God will deliver us from this situation and any other situation, those that we know and those that we do not know. And then as a family, I want you to pray also for yourselves. Pray for yourselves that the will of God will be done in your lives. Pray for everyone in your family. Pray for your jobs. Pray for loved ones. Pray for every interest that you have. Prayer is important. And why is it so? Every man needs help. This world in which we live is a spiritual world. What we see with our physical eyes is just a little. Most of what goes on in this life is beyond our reach. But God controls this life. And the God who sees it all, when we call upon him, he comes in to plead our cause. He comes in to, to seek our interest. He comes in to deliver us from what we cannot deliver ourselves. So prayer is a way by which we seek God's help in their affairs of this life. Anyone who refuses to pray is trying to say that, no, I can do it myself. I'm adequate for myself. No, you aren't. There are a lot going on in this life that you cannot go alone. So we all need God. And it's because we need God that we come before him in prayer. I'm reading Luke, the chapter 11, the verses 9 and 10. Verses 9 and 10. These are the words of Jesus. He said, I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone, and the word is everyone, and I believe all of us here, we fall into that set everyone, because no one is outside this set everyone, so long as you are a human being. It says, for everyone that asketh, receive it, and he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. It shall be opened. These are definite promises. Okay? You can't get it wrong. Jesus is saying, ask, and you will receive. He says, seek, you will find. He says, knock, it shall be opened. And what is exciting about this? Is the one who is asking you to ask. He's the same person who is going to give to you. Is the same person who is saying seek, who will make sure you find. Is the same Jesus who is saying knock, who is going to open that door. So you can't get it wrong. Jesus was praying to the Father. And the disciples saw it. They saw how he was praying. The disciples realized that there was a, a connection between Jesus' prayer and the victory he had in his life, between Jesus' prayer and his walk with God. 
between Jesus' prayer and the kind of miracles he was performing. Your prayer life is linked to your success. Your prayer life is linked to the outcome of your life. Your prayer life is linked to how you are going to fare in this life because prayer brings God into your situation. If Jesus prayed, then who are we not to pray? If Jesus needed to pray, then we all need to pray. And we must come together as a family unit in faith and seek the face of the Lord. Cry upon him to spare our generation. Cry upon him to have mercy. Cry upon him to come into our situation. Cry upon him and say, Lord, plead our cause. We need you. We need you. And this is how he continued in teaching them how to pray. Because the disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. Let's listen to what Jesus said. And he said unto them, when, when ye pray. So Jesus is trying to say that prayer is important, but the decision as to when to pray belongs to you. You can choose to pray and you can choose not to pray. You can decide when to pray and when not to pray. But anyone who understands the importance of prayer will consistently go to God in prayer and say, Father, I need your help. Father, I come to you. Why should God hear you? Why should God hear you? This is a question that you must answer. Why should God hear you? And one of the answers you have here is that he has given you a promise that I will hear you. Okay? And he says, you pray, and you seek, and you knock, and you will receive, you will find, okay? And it shall be open on you. Today, we are going to seek God. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus, and I believe he will hear us. Let today be one of the whens that you choose. In these times that we are not congregating as a big church, Let's come together in our family units. Let us see God, and he will hear us. I want you to bow down your head wherever you are, and as a family unit, begin to seek God's face in prayer. Our God is alive. Our God is in this situation, and God will bring us out. We will come out victorious than when we went in. The Lord be with you, even as you pray. And as you pray, remember our nation. Remember the leaders of this nation. And ask God to deliver us. Shall we pray? Father, we give you praise for this day. We thank you for the promise of your word. That when we cry unto you in the name of your son Jesus, you will hear us. We come before you this day as families in various places. But Lord, we know that you are with us wherever you are. Even as we lift up our voices to you, Lord, hear us. Hear us according to your word of promise and grant the request of the hearts of your people. Let it be said at the end of it all that this is your doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. We give you praise, O oh God, for we believe in you. In Jesus' name, amen.